the inspiration that we had for our first family of camouflage was camouflage netting. And Claycorn and I had an idea and a passion to develop our own camouflage that was going to be unique to our gear that we would own. Through our combat experiences, we'd gotten to see the most effective passive concealment measure on the battlefield that we saw was camouflage netting. And when that netting was stretched over an artillery piece or a hide site, a tent, a vehicle, those hexagons got distorted and it took on this three-dimensional aspect. So our inspiration was to take that three-dimensional aspect from camouflage netting and put it onto a two-dimensional surface. While that was going on, there was a major solicitation that came out from the U.S. government, from the Department of Defense. And what they were doing was looking for a new family of camouflage that was going to be specific. Whoever won this, this was going to be the new camouflage for the U.S. Army. We said, you know, if there was ever going to be a time to accelerate our camouflage development, this was going to be the opportunity. The way that this testing was set up is in two phases. Phase one was pretty elaborate, and they would take a shot of terrain, and they would put a two-scale silhouette of a man inside that picture in the camouflage that they were testing. And what they did was they took 900 soldiers over the period of one year, and they'd bring them into this room. They would start to scan and look for the silhouette of a man. Once the retina stopped, then the time stopped. And the longer it took, the better it was. So out of that process, they down-selected four companies. Cryptic got down-selected after that phase one testing. This is a major monumental, miraculous moment within the Cryptic brand story because at that time, Cryptic was just myself and Claycorn and the other companies that were up against were billion dollar a year companies. And the phase two testing was all force on force, naked eye acquisition. It was done all over the world and our camo started to get utilized by US spec ops. This is all happening simultaneously and we're getting this constant feedback from the phase two testing from guys that were echelons above reality into the Pentagon, all the way to guys that were in the field. So ultimately, what happened was that there was never an award and there was never an announcement. And the phase two test results were never made public. We started to spiral that into hunting and we accelerated our camouflage patterns in the civilian market. That's why you see placement in video games. That's why we got placement in movies. Cryptic is the only camouflage that's in the civilian hunting market that's been extensively tested by the Department of Defense and then selectively used by U.S. and coalition special operations. It truly delineates us and separates us from our competitors. We're able to do something that they can't do, and that is to transcend this huge spectrum of industry focus, lifestyle, battlefield, to backcountry.